Today, we are going to be working on the most efficient, cost-effective, and fastest foundation system that's available in the Lower Mainland right now. An ICF is called an insulated concrete form. It's basically pre-built blocks of foam in which you pour concrete in between the foam. And basically, there's maybe eight manufacturers in North America. They all have the same concept. Two panels of polystyrene or styrofoam and then a plastic web every six or eight inches depending on the brand you're using and that holds the concrete. So the ICF replaces your forming rental, your plywood form rental, your stud wall, your insulation and your vapor barrier. So an ICF replaces four steps in one. I, I find that an ICF house with an ICF basement doesn't feel like you're in the basement when the house is finished. It feels like you're in the main floor of a house. It doesn't feel basement-y. Like so concrete is a sponge. It sucks moisture from where it's wet to where it's dry, which is typically to your basement. That's why all basements are moldy or they have musky smells. So this bag will stay onto the concrete. It's not stripped off and it prevents water from getting into the home through the footing. This is the first time in North America that ICF Foundation is using our new monopore heavy duty side supports to pour the footings and the ICF walls at the same time. In this case right here with this fast footing, we just lay the plastic bag down we lay it out, we use these guys as a support for the existing ICF and it can be all done in a one -er. So this fast form footing, basically we just, I mean, I'm just using a piece of wood, but we usually use three quarter inch rain screen strips. We wrap it around, put it on here, screw it into the tabs. The tabs are here every eight inches, screw it onto there and the concrete will hold it into place. Really interesting with this product from an engineering standpoint that engineers are gonna love is there's no cold joint. So on most ICF foundations, we pour our footings first. We have rebar dowels that stick out of the footing and that connects the concrete pour in the wall to the concrete in the footing. So when we're pouring our footings and walls together, engineers are gonna love it because there's no cold joint. So it'll be the strongest structure that, that you can provide. Everyone says, oh, what about your electrics? What about your plumbing? The electrician can actually cut into here. He either hot knifes or he cuts into here and pulls his wire down, mounts his plug, and the wire is then embedded back in spray foam. So it's a really good product to, number one, it saves space because this is only two and a half inches off the concrete. And number two, it eliminates materials and time for having to frame in front. If we were to frame in front, we're losing space, we're losing time, material cost, everything. This saves money on the, on the interior framing side of things. Uh, the homeowners, it, 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 it actually speeds up the build process. Instead of doing, say, a, a 12 month build, this might eliminate two to three weeks on that. With the step code, every home has to be net zero by 2030. So when you're using an ICF, out of the box, this is gonna provide an R24 wall assembly. So it means we're getting a higher R value. So for passive homes and net zero homes, that will eliminate a lot of steps and, and, and you achieve it right off the bat at the foundation stage. We've been working with Avera for, I think almost a decade now. And Avera has always been open-minded to trying new ideas and new concepts and making the building practices a lot more smoother and efficient. So we're excited about Avera jumping on board, trying this new monopore system and making buildings more sustainable and efficient for the future. We're constantly pushing ourselves to, to use the new technologies and use new products that will help us achieve a higher step code or a, a step code before we actually need to. We're on the cutting edge of, of, of trying to build even a normal house net zero, even if it's not deemed net zero. Uh, this house, for example, is not a net zero home, but we're treating it like it is with our air tightness and our, and our building practices. We love supplying Avera on their projects because you just need to take a look at this job site it's absolutely pristine it's completely clean there's never stuff all thrown around the guys do an amazing job and we love working with them for that reason